This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We're gonna talk about them a little bit later. In the meantime, I'd like to talk to you guys about pigs, specifically teacup pigs. Teacup pigs were this trend that according to Google Trends peaked around 2012, about a decade ago. The thing is, I don't think they were ever real, or at least that's the question that I wanna look into today. Are mini pigs a real thing? To start us off, let's begin with a more simple question. What are teacup pigs? To help us out with that, I think let's just go to a website that sells teacup pigs, thepiggypetshop.com, specializing in teacup pigs for you and your loved ones. Look at them, they're so cute and small. This description says they're about 10 to 16 inches tall and 20 to 40 pounds when full grown. The basic idea is someone cracked the code and was able to breed an exceptionally tiny pig that stayed small forever. It was house trained. You could keep it in your house like a little dog, except it was a cute little pig. It could fit in a shoe. It could fit in a cup. You could put pearls on it and take a photo with some fake flowers. It sounds terrific, right? And the, the country just ate it up, man. Teacup pigs appeared on television shows. They appeared on movies. Celebrities started getting pigs as pets. Here's Paris Hilton with her pig. Here is Ariana Grande. She got a pig named Piggy Smalls with Pete Davidson who tattooed it on his hip because that's just such an epic thing to do. Uh, Logan Paul even had a teacup pig. Soon after this though, something very interesting happened. If you're aware of the teacup pig story or the micro pig story, you might know what's coming next. All of those pigs got Freaking huge. <laughs> Here is Paris Hilton's pig when she got it. Here it is a year later. It's an absolute massive porker. Here's another photo to demonstrate its massive size. Um, here's Logan's Paul, Logan Paul's tweet. I bought Pearl over a year ago. I was told she was mini. No, she's the size of like a hippopotamus. Stories like this are not very uncommon. Here's an article, experience. I accidentally bought a giant pig. This guy thought this, again, hippopotamus size hog was a mini pig when he purchased it. Family adopts micro pig, then it grows to 650 pounds. Teacup pig grows so large, he needs his own private plane. Here it was when they got it. Here it was when it grew to its uh, normal size. These are the stories that you usually hear about teacup or miniature pigs. They start very small and eventually they grow to the size of normal normal pigs. Never seen an article that details the long, comfortable life of a miniature pig that stays small. So, are mini pigs a thing? At this point, it kind of seems like they're not. People were just duped into buying normal pigs that grew very large. Or could they be real? Because if you do a little bit more research online, this was very intriguing to me. The American Mini Pig Association's website, where their goal is to ad educate, advocate, and protect miniature pigs. Here's a page where they have a list of mini pig breeds. They have one that looks like a cow, a dark one, one that looks like chocolatey caramel. Further investigation shows that this website, that's a resource for exotic animal vets, has a page on miniature pigs where they say say, and this is key, they say a normal body weight for a mini pig should be 70 to 150 pounds, which is significantly larger than the 20 to 40 pounds that the piggy pet shop suggests. So maybe, maybe mini pigs are a real thing, except they're just, you know, a little bit larger than we had originally thought. They can't fit inside of a teacup. They're more the size of a small to medium sized dog. Or maybe that's not even the case, because I found some more articles that suggest that those pigs aren't even naturally that size. And this is where things get very interesting, and we finally start learning some answers. Follow me on this one right here. We got the dodo right here. Why you need to be really, really sure before getting a teacup pig. So-called teacup pigs are actually pot-bellied pigs who are either underfed to stunt their growth or who are sold under false pretenses. Potbelly pigs, 
that are underfed to maintain their small size. That concept is kind of um, given more support in this National Geographic article, The Big Problem with Mini Pigs, this Smithsonian article, Bad News Pet Lovers, Teacup Pigs Are a Hoax, and this Modern Farm article where they basically suggest the same thing. Teacup pigs are a marketing scam reaching back at least two decades, if not more. And the interesting thing is that this pig mini pig website, Arizona Micro Mini Pigs, even kind of alludes to that idea on their front page where they say, fed unlimited feed, however, there would be rapid skeletal growth and weight gain of the tiny pig. This suggests that the opposite could be true too. Fed a restricted diet, there would be a reduced skeletal growth and a reduced weight gain, maintaining that small size. You can see how the answer to our question is a little bit more tricky than you might expect. Are teacup pigs real? I think the basic answer to that question is no. There will never be a pig that stays the size of a piglet for its entire life. But are mini pigs real? The answer to that question, I think, unfortunately, is kind of yes. However, it might not be the most kind of humane thing to do. It seems like you can uh, maintain a pig's tiny size by intentionally underfeeding it to reduce its growth pretty dramatically. So when we're talking about kind of the natural size of pigs, is there such a thing as a mini pig at all? I think the safest answer is no. The entire country was hoodwinked back in 2012. Tika pigs and mini pigs don't naturally exist. Kind of a bummer. But now I have to do a Squarespace ad, and to help capture your attention, stay along with me here. I'm gonna show a tour of the Chicago Academy of Sciences while I briefly talk to you about the wonders of Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website, connect with your audience, and generate revenue through gated members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights, all in one easy-to-use platform. So basically, you can create a community, you can schedule posts, you can put them behind a paywall, and you can even set up an e-commerce store using Squarespace's tools. Basically, it's a personal Patreon. So if you want a website, go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash oddanimalspecimens to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't buy a teacup pig or a micro pig. They're not real, and you don't want to underfeed it. Okay, bye. Thanks. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Bye.